Welcome back to the Steve Stomper YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking out the Brisk 14.1 foot inflatable boat out on San Diego Sail Bay right here. And what we're going to be doing is a one year review. This is my second season with this inflatable boat. So I'm going to be covering the pros and cons and going over my experience and whether this is a good fit for you. Now one of the cons is that it's going to take you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to set up each time. If you had a normal boat, you could pretty much put it in the water right away. Uh, but with this, you have that setup inconvenience, but that's going to come in at the price, you know, point and then also for the convenience of being able to store it in a bag. So you're going to have your pros and cons with this, but that's definitely a big con. And it's going to take you that same amount of time to pack this thing up as well. Brisk 14 foot out, 14.1 uh, foot the boat out today. This is gonna be a little dry around. This is the first time I'm taking it out this season. Last season I took it out all season, put out a video, made some modifications. I'll have a video on those modifications out soon, including the DIY trailer mount. But anyway, guys, let's have some fun today and I'll take you guys around and see what I see. So the big goal today is we're just going to really test out the engine, make sure the engine's in good shape here today. So the biggest pro about this inflatable is that if you have a limited amount of space, it's perfect. Also, if you're on a limited budget as well, it's not breaking the bank at $600 here. You know, it fits right in this bag, which fits then inside my Jeep. So there's no trailer. You don't need a space for that. You don't need the registration for that, which is awesome. You just have to register the inflatable. Also with the boat, you're going to need some storage costs, whether you're going to store it in someone's yard, your yard, uh, whether you're going to store it at a marina, there's going to be a cost for that as well. With this, that is not a factor. And then the last big aspect is that there's no major maintenance to be done. Like I mentioned, this is only $600. So you're not going to have something go bad on the boat where you're going to have a major repair for, you know, a thousand dollars or something like that. I just really want to make sure that ooh, gotta gotta wipe down the camera here. Camera wipe. There we go. So just want to really make sure in this first video, the engine is just completely up to sound for the whole summer. Make sure that this is uh, holding air nice and well. Now another pro about this inflatable are that the add-on options are not very expensive. So here I added on this Bohemi top for around $120, I believe. I'll put the price right up here so we capture that. But what's awesome about this is it keeps me out of the sun when it's a really sunny day. I have the option of putting it up, putting it down. So, but as you can see, we are catching winds like crazy and it's not even that sunny out. I could use the sun today. So we're gonna keep this down. But you guys can see how on a nice day, I'll just go like this, strap it to the back, strap it to the rings up front, and it just kind of stays like this the whole time. So let me show you just kind of what I mean. So this would strap up up there, there's like a ring, and then this one would strap to that back one. There's a back ring on that back tube right there. But anyway, let's put this down. 
otherwise just sits right on top of the engine fine or I can put it up if I want to look at the engine see what's going on uh, but I think what we might do today is do some reflecting a little reading got a lot going on with the business in terms of the Amazon launch so this is a nice kind of escape for me to collect my thoughts and kind of realign enjoy myself so anyway guys this is how I normally sit in here so this seat I could use as a table perfect spot for a nice tasty beverage or some food and then what I'll do is I'll just post up in the bay we'll get some people kiteboarding people you know on their sailboats and I could just you know read a book here so we got Dale Carnegie on deck today uh, I'm gonna get some tunes on going don't want to get in trouble with YouTube and have to cut out all this footage of me talking to you guys all right now so we're in the super wide angle shot so I think I could show you guys kind of what this looks like sitting in here and this is a pretty comfy backrest I'm six foot tall even though you are slightly scrunched up in here I have zero problem with this if you wanted to I can also lay down horizontally like this so let me show you guys kind of what that would look like it's not the best organizational skills up there if I had someone else on here I would do a better job but this is another way you could kind of sit in here and enjoy so you sit on the front and you can fully stretch out like I said six foot tall a little windier than you would like but when you sit inside these inner tubes like this I'm reading my book you're actually blocked from the wind pretty nicely so I'm just soaking up some sun rays on my legs they are getting nice and toasty the upper body is the only part of my body that's feeling the wind but I, that's why I threw in this uh, little long sleeve shirt here, but this is nice. This is probably my favorite way to sit so far. Oops, I'm gonna have to off. Can you bring me my chapstick? But anyway guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit of relaxing here. You know, I can't do all work and just record this stuff for you. Gotta do a little bit of relaxing. Alright guys, so now we're getting ready to head out. I want you guys to take a guess at what we're going to be using for our anchor today. I'll give you guys about 10 seconds to figure it out. Is it going to be A, a normal anchor, B, a kettlebell, or C, a cinder block? Now if you guessed normal anchor, you clearly have not been here long enough, so do yourself a favor and subscribe right now. The correct answer is B, kettlebell. The reason why is I'm actually down two anchors from last season. I don't know what the issue is. It's the issue is me. Let's be real. Uh, I shouldn't have been down two anchors, but it is what it is, and we're on to the kettlebell now. Got it. Now you can see here I'm leaving pretty early. There's plenty of day left. 
but you have to remember that I have 30 to 40 minutes to pack this up into the Jeep. And then when I get home, I like to give it a good wash, let it dry off before I put it away. So I always like to factor in a few hours of daylight just to make sure I get all of that done. If I had a normal boat, I could stay up way later, enjoy some more sunsets on the ocean, but that's not really feasible here. today this is what she looks like out of the water you can compare it in size to my truck and yep we're all done so it's time to pack her away get the washing wheels down right there Now, if you guys have any questions about my experience with this 14.1 foot inflatable comboat by Breeze, drop it in the comments below, or if it's a general inflatable boat question, I'll make sure to answer every single question in the comments below. Now, I will say that I've had no issues with the actual inflatable portion. I do have to do a repair on the engine. I'm gonna be replacing the impeller for the water pump, so I'll be covering that in a future episode. But in terms of the inflatable, it's been rock solid. And the major cons are the ones that you would expect, the inconvenience aspects of having an inflatable boat versus a real boat. But if you're in the market for an inflatable boat like this, you A, most likely don't have the space for this, or B, you're not willing to fork over the money for a real boat, or you don't wanna deal with those kinds of issues. So this is a great way to get your feet wet, get your foot in the water, no pun intended. And if you guys have any ideas of different areas to explore in the Southern California area, make sure to let me know in the comments below. 
If you guys want to see anything else on this Briska boat, also let me know. I'm thinking about doing a top speed test with shifting the weight around a little bit better than we did in the first episode, and then also bringing out the drone. All right, this is what we look like in back. Pretty tight, but we could pack it better next time maybe. But that is it, we are ready to go. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll be out on the inflatable soon. See you guys next time.